Hey everybody and welcome to your weekend love read. This is for the 6th, 7th, and 8th of July um, for our Earth signs. That's Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We will go in that order. So, we'll get a couple shuffles here and we'll get started. I'm going to tip you on down here so you can see. Okay, so what are the messages do you have for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo in that order? Okay, your overall energy is the Six of Pentacles for all three of you. Capricorn, you are dealing with the Queen of Swords. Taurus, you are dealing with the Lovers in Reverse. And Virgo, the Four of Swords in Reverse. Capricorn Males. And Females. Taurus Males. And Females. Virgo Males. And Virgo Females. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so Capricorn, you guys um, have been dealing with energy of imbalance. Um, whichever one you feed is obviously going to grow. Um, you guys are breaking off a relationship with an air sign. Um, this person could be very rigid towards you right now, but um, this person, this person doesn't want to let you go, Capricorn. You are um, you are more imbalanced than the rest, obviously, because everyone else is finding balance. Um, but you're letting go of somebody who um, who is very dominating, very uh, with the Emperor here in reverse. They're also out of balance. They are uh, not in a good place. Period. <laughs> Capricorn females, you are not, you guys are having doubts. You're having doubts about manifesting what it is that you want. Um, but you have to let go of somebody. You're, this person throws you out of balance, throws you out of whack. So you're not able to manifest what you want because the universe is saying, uh, no, no, this is no good for you. This is toxicity. This is somebody who's overbearing, controlling, um, controls to an, like, an over extent, um, and you ultimately just want to find peace and balance. Taurus, you guys are, um, you guys were in a third party situation, could have been with an Aries male is one of them, but, um, the, the sharing of energy is over. Um, unfortunately, Taurus, since both your guys' cards are in the reverse, I don't see you being the one that's going to be chosen this weekend. Um, for the Taurus males, there just isn't enough love to uh, make this balance out, to make this uh, relationship work. Taurus females, um, you're wanting somebody to stay. Definitely Aries uh, male energy in your life. You are um, a part of a third party that they had, and they're not um, giving you a new beginning. They're not giving you a fresh start with the lovers in reverse. You guys are not the choice, unfortunately. I'm sorry to break that, but there will be no um, there will be no new beginning with this person that put you in a third party situation. Virgo, you guys are coming out of a slow, restful period. You guys um, have been stagnant for quite some time because you are a part of a third party as well. Um, if you have Aries in your chart, this is you. Um, but you have taken the time to heal, to rest, to relax. Uh, Virgo, you males, you have taken a long time to make a choice. Could be dealing with a Taurus since these are both cards of choice. Um, but the swords are in the ground now and a choice has been made. You guys are making a choice of who you're going to invest your energy in. Virgo females, um, it's time for you to take a step back and, and really decide what you want to, to, uh, retreat from the world. You're, there's a lot of outside influences in your ear right now, but you are out of balance as well with the hermit in reverse. It's calling for you to, to retreat, to uh, heal. 
you've had a lot of heartbreak from this person. This person really had an effect on your life in a negative way. So it's time for you guys to um, take control back. Take your life back. Um, yeah, for sure. So, all right, Earth Signs, that's what I got for you for this weekend. Good luck. As always, I send you love and light, and God bless.